Hi guys, hope all are doing well. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Programming with VJ. In this video we are going to see about, filling and reducing liquid in test tube. And also when rotated level of liquid remains same. It can be used in water sword puzzle. This is part 1 video of the water filling mechanics. We are going to use shader programming to achieve this effect. Hope all you guys subscribe the channel. If subscribed, thanks a lot. Let's go into the video. Create a sprite renderer game object and I am naming it as bottle. In child of bottle, create another sprite renderer game object and name it as water. I already downloaded bottle sprites. I will attach the sprite link in the description you can download from there. Now attach the bottle outline sprite to the bottle sprite renderer's sprite. Next attach the bottle mask sprite to the water sprite renderer's sprite. Change the sprite's pixel per unit to 1024 for both sprites. And change the main camera size to 1. Create a shader folder. In the shader folder create an unlit shader script. Name it as water. Create a material and name it as water. Now click on the water game object, and assign the material to the sprite renderer's material. Open water shader script in Visual Studio. Clear all pre-written codes. In the first line, create a path where the shader should come. Open a block for properties section. In the properties section add texture variable, and name it as main text. Create a subs hater block. In the sub shader block, create a pass. Inside the pass, start the CG program, and end the CG program last. Inside the CG program, create a pragma for vertex function and name it as vert. Another pragma for fragment function frag. Fragment function will return a float 4 color. Vertex function will return a v2f struct, which we seen below. Create a struct app data. Inside the app data, create on variable for getting the vertex position. Another variable for texture coordinates. Create another struct, v2f. As name itself explains, data from vertex function can be passed to fragment function. In the v2f struct, we are going to store the vertex position for each pixel. Texture uv coordinates and world position for converting the each vertex from object to world for each pixel. Whatever variable we declare in property section, inside the pass we have to define. Texture will be defined as sampler 2D. Main text ST is default required by CG program for the internal calculation, only for the texture we declare in property section. In the vert function, there should be a default parameter of app data. Because from there only we are going to get datas of the vertex position, UV values etc. As vert function return v2f, we should declare local v2f variable. First we are converting vertex object position to clip position. And getting UV values. Also getting world position of each vertex. Last we are returning v2f. First we can give some color to our sprite. In fragment function, we will return float 4. We will need parameter of v2f, we got all v2f struct data from vert function. 
so we can use them in this function. Give local variable float for col. I am giving red color to the sprite. Because red value will be 1, green and blue value is 0 and last alpha value is 1. Last return the float for local variable. Switch back to Unity. Give the path of the shader in the material which you had given in the script. You can see color changed to red. Instead of hard coding the color value, we can give it as variable. Replace the color variable, where we hard coded. Switch back to Unity. In the inspector you can change the color value of the material. Now we can implement fill mechanics. For that create a float variable with range of minus 0.5 to 0.5, give default value as 0. Define the fill amount variable inside the CG program, to use in the script. In the frag function, create a float variable uv. In cg program there is a function call step. What it does is, if second parameter is less than first parameter it returns 0. If second parameter is greater than first parameter it return 1. First parameter we are giving vertex world position from the v2f struct. Second parameter will be fill amount variable. Last multiply the float variable uv with color. Switch back to Unity. Now adjust the fill amount variable in the inspector. You can see the color filling and reducing, according to the fill amount value. There is one issue. If we move the bottle, we can see the fill amount also changes. We have to fix this. Switch back to Visual Studio. Create a vector variable in property section. Define the vector variable inside the pass. Create a flow to local variable, I am naming it as diff. Now subtract the world position of vertex to the transform of the shader game object. Always remember that shader will execute for each pixel because of that the issues occurred. Now replace the diff variable in step function where we used world position of vertex. Save and switch back to unity. Switch back to unity. Now change the position of the bottle. You can see the issue still existing. Now copy the x and y value of the bottle's transform position, paste it in the water material in the inspector. You can see the correct fill amount. Every time we can't copy paste the position values. We will fix this issue in next video. In the next part of the video, we can see about, how to set the variable values from C sharp. And also splitting test tube into different colors, and more. Thanks for watching this video. Please like the video if you enjoyed and gained some knowledge. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on bell icon to get notification when I update new videos in YouTube. Take care all of you, bye bye.